This is my third and final video on shapes of molecules and ions where I'm just going to go through a summary of the shapes that I've covered in my previous two videos and then using molecular models show you what those shapes look like in 3D. Okay, firstly when we're just dealing with molecules where we have just bonding pairs of electrons involved, when we have two bonding pairs of electrons the bond angle around the central atom is 180 degrees and that shape is called linear. When there's three bonding pairs of electrons the bond angle is one, 120 degrees and that shape is called trigonal planar. When there's four bonding pairs of electrons the bond angle is 109 degrees and that shape is called tetrahedral. When there's five pairs, uh, bonding pairs of electrons, there's actually two different bond angles in the molecule, so one of them is 90 degrees and the other is 120 degrees, and that shape is called trigonal bipyramidal. Finally, when we have six bonding pairs of electrons, the bond angle is 90 degrees and that shape is called octahedral. So I've just drawn it out in a table to summarize all of it so if you want to copy this down then you might want to pause the video right here okay when we're dealing with mo molecules that have both bonding pairs and lone pairs of electrons involved for example uh, if we take water that's got four pairs of electrons, two of them are bonding pairs, two of them are lone pairs. Um, and that has a bond angle of 105 degrees and that's called V-shaped. Next we've got ammonia which also has four pairs of electrons. Uh, three of these are bonding pairs, one of them uh, a lone pair and that bond angle is a is 107 degrees and the shape is called pyramidal. And finally when we have the ion uh, ClF4- that's got six pairs of electrons, four of them are bonding pairs, two of them are lone pairs. Um, the bond angle is 90 degrees and that shape is called square planar. So again I've just drawn uh, it out in a table. If you want to copy this down then pause the video here. Okay finally I'm gonna show you with the use of molecular models what these shapes look like in 3D. So to start with linear, uh, we just got a central atom bonded to two other atoms. Next we've got V-shaped um, for example the water molecule. Unfortunately uh, this modelling kit that I've got doesn't have anything to show uh, lone pairs of electrons, uh, just bonding pairs. So next we've got a uh, trigonal planar, so the central atom is bonded to three other atoms to give you a triangular shape. Uh, next we've got tetrahedral so if I just move this round. Uh, so the central atom is bonded to four other atoms. Then we have pyramidal, for example, ammonia. So notice uh, it still has a tetrahedral arrangement of the electrons, but only three of them are bonding pairs. And it's got one lone pair which uh, there's no way of showing on this. Next we've got square planar, so the central atom bonded to four other atoms um, to give us a nice square shape. Next when we've got five bonding pairs it's called trigonal bipyramidal and remember this one has two bond angles so if we look in this direction. Notice that the bond angle between two bonding pairs is 90 degrees and then when I rotate it and we have a bird's eye view, 
the bond angle between two of these bonding pairs is 120 degrees. And finally, when we've got six bonding pairs, uh, that gives us an octahedral shape. So no matter which direction we look, the angle, the bond angle between two bonding pairs is always 90 degrees, so in that direction, and both in that direction. Um, so I actually bought this molecular modelling kit about 10 years ago when I started my chemistry degree. Um, I'm not actually sure where you can buy it from these days. This one was from Blackwell's bookshop, but if you you're interested and you think uh, you might find them useful, then uh, maybe ask your chemistry teacher to look into uh, suppliers. Um, back when I was doing chemistry exams, I could take these into every chemistry exam. Um, I did struggle to see things in 3D back then, so I found, personally, I found these very useful. Um, I hope you found this video useful and feel free to leave any comments.